Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog, a new flight attendant vlog. It's currently 2.30 a.m. Yep, it's early. My briefing time is 6 a.m. So I kind of have to leave pretty soon. I mean, it is a Monday morning, but the roads are probably going to be clear because, I mean, who goes to the airport at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m.? So I'm going on a three-day trip today. I was supposed to go to Shanghai, China, but my airline canceled all of their flights due to the coronavirus outbreak and all that. So they gave me this trip instead. So it's a three-day trip, short haul, like short-range European. So I'll tell you all about it later. I just, I kind of have to leave now. <laughs> I made it here to Munich. It's 5 a.m. So still early. I have an hour before my briefing time So I have enough time to do like my pre-flight readings and like check how many passengers we have and all that kind of stuff if There are any like special things like um, Wheelchairs, little kids traveling by themselves, all that and Yeah Today we have three flights so today's the shortest day of the three days that I'm working. Today we're going to Cologne from here. I'm in Munich at the moment. So we're going to Cologne in Germany, then we're going back to Munich, and then we're going to Düsseldorf, which is also in Germany. So it's basically all German day today. And other than that, it's not really that much that I can tell you guys at the moment. Um, like I said, it's a three-day trip. Tomorrow night I'm going to be in Budapest. So I'm going to be in Hungary. And yeah. Flight time today will probably be like an hour to Cologne, an hour back, and an hour to Dusseldorf. And then there's an hour in between. I sit, I'm the chaser on this trip, so I'm changing crews. But I think today I'm going to be with the same crew for the whole day, which is great. And I think I want to work in the back, because my seniority is not the lowest in this trip. So I can probably choose that I want to be in the back. We're going to be on an A321, like an Airbus plane. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna be at door three. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, quick update. So crew scheduling just gave me a call. Apparently they switched the Cologne flight to an A319 plane, which means that they don't need a chaser on that plane, which means I drove here for like nothing at this time. So I have to wait until my just flight. I'm on board of the plane just waiting for my crew, basically. I made it to my hotel room here in Dusseldorf and let me just recap today I was supposed to go on three flights as I told you guys this morning and as I mentioned before they um, switched the plane for our Cologne flight so it ended up being an A319 and they didn't have space for a chase on that plane because there are just no chasers on A319 if you're not familiar with that term, I do have a video on all of our flight attendant or aviation terms. And being a chaser basically means that I'm not with the same crew. So I'm always with a crew of at least three other people inside of the plane. If there is an A319, it's only a crew of three. So that's why there is no chaser on the plane. So that's why I was sitting at our flight operations center for like four, four hours, a little over four hours before I was able to go to the plane for the Dusseldorf flight. It was still with the same crew that I was supposed to fly with this morning. So it ended up being only one flight, so very easy. Passengers were really nice. The crew was amazing. I'm sad to not fly with them tomorrow. I have a different crew tomorrow, but yeah. Um, just checking the view. Um, it doesn't look like it's a big city. I mean, I know that Düsseldorf is a big city, but we're a little outside of the town center, I think. And it just looks like a regular, like, regular part of a small town or something. I'm gonna show you the hotel room, and then I think I'm gonna head outside for a little bit, but the weather is not that great, and I have to go to bed pretty soon, because um, right now it is almost 2 p.m. I got up at 2 a.m. My pickup time tomorrow is 6.05 a.m. So it's quite early. So yeah, I'm tired you guys. So that's the bathroom. It looks nice and very clean. I have not been to this hotel. I've been to Dusseldorf before but a different hotel. There's a rain shower. There is a huge mirror on here and I'm wearing my flight attendant dress. By the way, my hair is sort of straight today. I don't know if you can see it because I somehow straightened it yesterday. I never do that, but I did. Oh well. And then 
like two beds i prefer one big bed or two queen size beds but it's okay it looks comfortable a lot wobbly there is a coffee and tea maker flat screen tv oh a nice chair i like that there's a lot of space here for a suitcase i only brought my small suitcase so it's all right and that's the view let's go explore Dusseldorf it's the outfit of the day It started raining here in Dusseldorf, so I'm just gonna head back to the hotel because I only brought one jacket and it's already sort of wet, so I don't really want to lose the jacket altogether, you know, you guys. I'm back at my hotel, so what happened was it started raining. I did bring an umbrella and I was wearing like uh, waterproof boots, like rain boots, that's the word, I guess. And it started raining right then when I was down at the river at the Rhein. Rhein is the river that goes through Düsseldorf. And it was kind of cold, it was very windy, so I decided to walk back. Altogether, it was like a six mile walk that's nine kilometers. And right now it is almost 4 p.m., so I am just about to order some food. I think I'm gonna order some pizza. Because what I do is usually at home I cook fresh, like fresh food, and then in my layovers I either grab something on the go or a lot of the times I'll bring my own food. But I didn't have time for it this weekend because I wasn't at home. And then I also only brought my small suitcase and honestly, like, it doesn't fit in there. What I usually do is I freeze my food and put it into my big suitcase and it's really cold in the belly and stuff but like the small one I take on board with me and it just it would spoil so I'm not bringing food on that trip and it's only a three day trip so I think tomorrow I probably don't need any food because I have more flights and therefore I'll probably just eat on a plane and then go to bed once I'm at the hotel but today I had quite a long layover so pickup is at 6 tomorrow morning we got here at like 2 that means I have 16 hours here, which is pretty good. But yeah, Düsseldorf is nice, but like the rain, um, I could do without the rain, honestly. Like, I don't need the rain. So my food is on the way. And by the way, I just, I have to say, when I see myself in the viewfinder right now, I feel weird seeing my hair like this. It used to be that straight. I feel like I'm back in college, because I feel like that's what I looked like when I was like, I don't know, like 20 or something and um yeah it's getting long and i'm kind of like letting it grow out it used to be in a bop haircut and yeah it's still it feels weird it feels so sleek what do you guys think do you prefer the curls or this the pizza is here and i got um ham mushrooms and extra mozzarella and some aioli and i'm just sitting here I'm waiting for my movie to download such so to watch your trip and I'm just watching some stuff on my cell phone right now I'm watching Megan May she's a flight attendant in case you have not watched her videos before she's awesome I'll link her channel down below I'm gonna have my pizza I'm excited good morning guys it's 5 a.m. I'm ready for today we have 
four flights today so first of all we're going back to munich i have a different crew today actually i have two crews today so i'm going back to munich then i'm going back to dusseldorf then i'm going back to munich again and then i'm going to budapest so for the first three flights i have one crew and then for the fourth flight i have a different crew and we're going to be on the a321 for the whole day today so at least that's what it says right now they might switch to like an a320 or something i hope they're not going to switch to an a319 um but it's supposed to be an a321 for the whole day um which is all right i think i'm the one of the lowest seniority so we'll see where i have to go it's probably going to be door three or door two probably door three though i don't know we'll see 5.45 a.m. It's early. Yeah, let's do this day. It's day two of three. So the tour is like halfway done, even though I only had one flight before. <laughs> let's hope that today goes differently. First neck done with an awesome crew. And three more to go. I'm in the galley, in the back galley. I'm the three left on this flight, so I'm in contact in the back. Hey guys, I made it to Budapest, so I'm in my hotel room right now. I was the only one of my crew who actually stayed in Budapest. The rest of the crew went right back to Munich. So they had a different tour. They just started out with this Munich to Budapest leg. And it was like for me, it was the fourth leg already. My first crew of the day was really nice. I'm gonna meet them again tomorrow. They're gonna be on my last two legs tomorrow. It's weird, I know, like being the chaser on this trip. And um, yeah, today for the first three legs we had an A321, so that's an Airbus plane. It's our biggest short haul plane here in Munich. Here in Munich, I'm not here in Munich, but at my Munich base. And for the last leg we had an Airbus 320, the CU version. So that's like a 320 max. Anyways, the flights went very well. We were early at pretty much every destination. But right now, like the drive here took a while. It's 5.30 p.m. and my wake up call is at 3.40 a.m. So I'm not gonna go outside, I'm sorry. I wish I could do some sightseeing, but it's dark outside anyways. And it would take me a while to get to like the river and that kind of stuff and you wouldn't be able to see anything. And I kind of have to get some sleep. I don't really need dinner, I still have a protein bar and I ate on the plane so I had like the uh, the business class meal because some of our passengers didn't want to have their meal. It was just like a cold platter of like cold cut meats and cheese and the bread roll and then I had a cookie from economy class, like the best cookies, they're really good. They have like cranberries and stuff in them and they're really really good. Like um big chocolate chunks, that kind of stuff, and we heated it up in the oven, it was so good. And so I'm kind of like full right now, I don't feel hungry at all. And breakfast, I remember, I think that they have breakfast included at this hotel. It's not like a regular breakfast, but like an early bird breakfast, which includes some sort of like danishes and I think some bread rolls, which is kind of nice when you're departing that early. And I still have some yogurt, a banana, protein bar, all that kind of stuff with me. I don't know how long I wasn't in focus, I didn't really look at the viewfinder, so anyways, as I was saying, I have stuff for breakfast with me tomorrow and then they probably have an early bird breakfast here. At least that's the way I remember it. And for right now I'm just gonna go take a bath, because there's a bathtub, I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna show you my room, obviously, and tomorrow is go home day, so I'll tell you all about it tomorrow, but like I said, my wake up call is at 3.40 a.m. And I have three flights tomorrow and they're not that short. Like the flight um, to Dusseldorf, for instance, is only a 15 minute flight, basically. And the flight to Budapest was also kind of short, like an hour. And then tomorrow I'm going to Dublin and that's like a two hour flight. So it's longer. Anyways, I'm going to show you my room and then I'm off to bed after my bath. It doesn't really make sense to show you the view 
from my room because I'm literally staring at other sides of the building. And then I have two beds, which I like. Well, actually, I prefer like one big bed, but like it's all right. <laughs> And then I have a TV here. I like the pictures. They're cute. I think all of those are like buildings here in Budapest. And then, um, wait, is that complimentary? I think it is. I mean, I'm fine with drinking tap water. It's safe to drink tap water here. I Googled it. I always Google it. There's a kettle right there. There is a closet. We have a full-size mirror here. Actually, it's bigger than full-size. Like, it's huge. And I'm still wearing my uniform dress. And then the bathroom's really nice. I like the design, like the dark stone here. It's nice. Um, the lighting is actually good. This morning it was crap at my hotel. And if you don't know this, but doing makeup with crappy lighting is such a pain. But here it's awesome. Like no shadows that are crossed underneath the eyes whatsoever. I know if you're not into makeup and stuff, this is weird, but whatever. <laughs> Um, and here is a bathtub. It's pretty. Good morning. It's 3.30 a.m. I'm bright and awake, as you guys can see. Uh, I actually got eight hours of sleep, so it's not too bad. It's still very early. I'm just about to have some breakfast. I do believe that there is an early breakfast downstairs, so I'm just gonna eat my yogurt and my banana and then I'm gonna get ready and head downstairs and meet the new crew. And ready to head downstairs and meet the new crew. So today I have three flights. First of all, we're going back to Munich from here from Budapest and then I'm doing a Dublin turn with my crew from yesterday so that's really cool that I get to meet them again because they were awesome and by the way what I forgot to mention yesterday is that for the first three legs I was working the three left position but for the fourth leg with the new crew we were on an A320 I mentioned that like an A320CO which is a newer A320 version and I was actually working up front I was the one right position so I was working up in business class and then I was working in economy class. So my purser let me handle business class all by myself yesterday, which was nice. Yeah. <laughs> and today I think I want to go to the back. I think today we have a 320 max at first. That is again the 320 CO. And then I think we have a 321 if nothing changes. in our economy class galley all by myself I'm the one with the highest seniority on my crew list so I got to choose the back I'm in the crew bus right now we're going to the airport basically on the tarmac and I'm just about to go meet my crew that I'm flying to Dublin with and the plane just landed so the plane is here. Still have like an hour before the plane. And let's see if we're I'm on board of the plane to Dublin. We're just waiting for boarding basically. So nothing to do at the moment. Hey guys, I'm back from my three day trip. So the third day is over, done and dusted. And I mean, I haven't done short haul trips like that in a long time. Like I had day trips, but not like trips or flyovers and stuff in a while. And it was actually fun. I was the chaser on this trip. So what I didn't like that much was that my layovers were basically by myself. It wasn't with the same crew that I was actually working with on a day or that I was changing and switching crews all the time and what was good though was that on the second day I had the same crew for um, three legs and I had the same crew for two legs on the fourth day and 
on the fourth day, on the third day, <laughs> and on said third day, I got to work up front together with my purser and he let me do all of the announcements and stuff. So that was really nice of him and I like doing the announcements. I don't mind at all. Like, um, yeah, I just like doing them and I know that whenever I get into purser training, I'll be doing the announcements all the time and that's something I'm looking forward to. But it was just still nice for now that I was able to do them. And the flights to Dublin were, well at first we were going from um, from Budapest to Munich. I knew one of the guys from my crew, so that was nice. And my crew was really, really nice. And then to Dublin and back, like I said, I had the same crew I had the day before. And that crew was really, really nice. And I had a great time. It was a good trip altogether, but I'm still glad to be home now. And I'm tired. Like the last layover was, I think, like 11 hours long. So I didn't see anything apart from the hotel room, as I told you guys. And I'm just glad to be home and be off for a couple of days. There's just a lot going on right now that I'm, that I'm working on and stuff like that. And yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you click on the subscribe button down below. Also make sure that you click on the little bell icon below because otherwise YouTube is not gonna notify you whenever I upload a new video. And I just wanted to say thank you to every single one of you guys for sticking around. Um, I know my videos have been uploaded pretty consistently lately and I want to keep it that way. But I know that I haven't been that good with answering comments. It's just there, there was so much going on in my life with like um, all of those tests I was going through and stuff. So thank you for sticking with me even though like I said I wasn't that good with answering comments lately. I'm working on it. Trust me. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.